The deaf and hard of hearing community is already responding positively to the new campaign. First Alert meteorologist Pierce Legion sat down with one young man who is deaf and shares his thoughts. Kyle Noel is just your average 21 year old college student, except for one thing. I was born um, deaf and it wasn't until one year or so when my parents starting to know something different about me. Many of us take for granted that this will alert us to an approaching storm. That's not the case for Kyle. I feel pretty exposed at nighttime, and that's why um, when I was in high school, I bought the Know What Weather radio that flashes. The deaf and hard of hearing are at a disadvantage. It's not hearing thunder, so it's hard to tell for them how far away lightning is. That's why the National Weather Service is launching in addition to their existing When Thunder Roars, Go Indoors safety campaign. See a flash dash inside includes the deaf and hard of hearing community in the campaign for the first time. They can get, get people involved because get people, I know get communities, they usually feel like they're left out um, in almost everything. Something the Weather Service hopes to change along with saving lives. The lightning can strike over 10 miles away and um, even if you're, if it's not, if you're not having a thunderstorm at that moment, you can still get struck by lightning if you're outdoors. I think they got the right approach to this. Trying to reach out to the get or hearing community by changing the overall lightning saving campaign. Kyle hopes the collaboration will only grow from here. In Greenville, meteorologist Pierce Legion, nodding your side.